Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we have another instant Legolas... Uh, no, 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 that was just a joke. <laughs> it's time for a break. Seriously, seriously. It doesn't happen very often that someone invents a revolutionary new thing in the world of archery and crossbows. But these guys from Landshead have done it. And I'm very happy to be one of the first guys to receive a sample of the groundbreaking new F1 uh, crossbow that they manufacture. Let me show you its features. <laughs> it comes in this wonderful box, which is really a piece of art. I mean, there's even wheels on it. So, I mean, it's, it's like the best gun case that I've ever seen, I have to say. Okay. So let's open it. What do we have inside? We have this beautiful crossbow that looks like no other crossbow that I've ever seen before. As you can see, there's no limbs. <laughs> you just have these... these oh. Sorry for that. <laughs> Entirely my fault. You know, I present to you a very expensive crossbow and put it on the cheapest table that you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Typical slingshot channel style. Anyway, it has no limbs. You only have these two drums here and then you have a lot of string and of course you have like some arrows and even an arrow that is uh, the decocking bolt and uh, it's a bullpup design of course but but where are the limbs well that is the special thing the limbs are actually inside of these drums and they are like coiled springs this means that it works much like a you know starter spring in a in a lawnmower <laughs> but many 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 times more uh, powerful so these are actually made from the finest quality and i think the real masterpiece of this crossbow is uh, the cables you see these cables here make sure that you have a huge acceleration length i mean the power stroke is like 63 centimeters all the way from the back from here all the way to here so that's a super long power stroke and they achieve that by using pulleys. You see, you have multiple pulleys. You have this, these pulley systems here and these here. And they make sure that, you know, the, the, the way how this travels is only together, it's only 19 centimeters as long as this. So they are they're traveling this short, but then the, uh, the bone string uh, the, for the power stroke goes all the way back. So, and this makes it so fast because not only uh, does a pulley give you a longer power stroke, but it also accelerates the speed of the springs. And that's what these guys have actually done. Okay, but let's further look at all the other features. Um, here in the end, you see that there is a funny cross and that is actually where you put in the winch because these things have to be cocked by a winch. Very powerful springs that you cannot cock without it. Um, and, um, well, you can also see they have a very, very cool trigger system. It's uh, a trigger tech trigger, which is one of the uh, finest triggers, I think, that you can buy for crossbows today. And, um, of course, this has the advantage that the uh, slim, narrow profile makes it behaving almost like a gun. And I think it is really made to shoot downwards. So normally people would like sit in a tree stand and then shoot downwards like this. This is how it's designed for. But it's also quite comfortable to shoot like this, just like, like normal. Great scope on it. And this is actually the winch system that comes with it. And what I like is that it's absolutely noise free. So it's a, it's a carbon express uh, system. And um, you know, you just have to put in uh, the crank handle in here and then you can release the uh, spring like so and then you can pull this out the length of course is absolutely fitting for the crossbow see and if you want to want to drag it in you simply turn and as you hear you hear nothing but the nice thing is that there is an embedded brake so you don't need the tuck, 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 that you normally hear from these winches the brake system is absolutely noise free this is what I really love. 
Okay, I will now show you how to cock it. Uh, first thing that you do, you have this cross section on this here too. So it works like a lock and the key. You put this in and you got it in place. Then you release the entire string, put this over the scope, and then you put it in here, like so, until it is in front of the until it, it latches onto the uh, string and you put in the winch and you start winding and of course it's, it's very easy and you see that it's now pulling back the string I'll just hand this a little bit so that you can see the pulleys working and as you see I can release the, uh, uh, the I can le release the crank here at any time and it automatically stops now you see how the pulleys, actually the block and tackle devices move, very, very, very short motion. So the springs will only turn like 90 degrees, that's all they need. And now you can hear the cluck of the trigger engaging. First thing that you now do is put in the safety. <laughs> then you release the brake from this thing here. Okay, and put it in like two turns or something until you can take out the system and move the, this to the front so that you can take the entire part off. Okay, now you take out an arrow, very high quality carbon fiber arrow. Now they give you a set of pliers to put them in, but uh, it was missing in my box for some reason. There was an IOU, something like they're going to ship this to me later on. Uh, which is fine because there is a safety and then there is a dry fire safety so even if this would dry fire it would be caught by this little notch here so I'm not too afraid to put the bolt in with my fingers and of course we are no pussies here at the slingshot channel <laughs> and of course you could take any pliers if you don't want to do this and you shift the bolt back and now it's fully engaged and as you can now see let me show this to you it would be absolutely no problem to attach any broad hair to this. But you see how long the power stroke is. It's amazing. See, the half moon knock is very snug against the string. And now the weapon is ready to fire and it has some power, let me tell you. Did you ever see a crossbow like this? Isn't it amazing? Wow, what a slimline thing. Okay. Now I take the safety off. Wow! <laughs> that is power! Amazing! But how hard does it shoot? Well, let's fire it over the crony. And it's again, it's the FX Vada, therefore you're gonna see the result here on my iPhone. One hundred and nine meters per second and that is 356 FPS and as you see these arrows weigh 23 grams so we're getting almost 137 joule of energy from this from coil springs <laughs> Now it is a fairly heavy crossbow. It's not too heavy to handle because it's well balanced, but let's see how heavy it really is. Okay, so this means it's about six kilos or maybe 13 pounds. That is heavy for a crossbow, but of course it's with uh, three arrows and the decocking bolt. Is it accurate? Well, this 50 meter distance, that is actually a lot for a crossbow. Let's see how it fares. Okay, let's cock it again.
The trigger is really out of this world. It's so smooth. So far it's been really accurate, but of course they give you these very expensive bolts with it. You get three of them in the package. Now how does it shoot with very very cheap aluminum uh, ones from EK Archery that you can get for next to nothing? Will it still hit from 20 meters uh, from a standing position? Well, the manufacturer does not recommend it. The manufacturer recommends only using these arrows. And there is a slight risk that I will damage the crossbow. But in reality, this is what's going to happen out there. People will shoot all kinds of funny arrows. And therefore, I want to know if this is robust. Okay, let's do it <laughs> from 20 meters. Well, at least it's still holding. <laughs> let's go for one more shot. So let's try the second shot. Let's go take a look. I was kind of shaking because it is heavy. So from freestanding, it's not so easy. So in case you didn't notice, <laughs> this just ate one of my bolts because it fired it through all the way to the hilt. Yeah, that's what I call a major impact. So there's plenty of power, accuracy. I think it was just me not being the greatest shooter in the world, but this is an accurate a crossbow even with these very cheap bolts. So what is my verdict on this super new, super interesting crossbow? The Lance Head F1. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, of course, it's an absolute innovation. This kind of throwing arm technology is uh, unheard of in this industry and as you see the performance really is good um, and uh, I just love how compact it is. The compactness is just beating everything else that I've seen so far. It is also super well made and it's delivered complete. This means you get all the bells and whistles, everything is in the wonderful uh, suitcase. Other pluses, the trigger, the trigger tech trigger is super for a crossbow. It's so smooth and, and I think it adds greatly to the accuracy of the design. The uh, telescopic sight is wonderful, the Hawk sight here. I love that one really. I mean, it's adjustable, it has everything you need. I, I love the sight, so everything is just uh, fantastic. The workmanship, it, it's, a, it's a really well-made crossbow. There are, of course, also some negative points that I have to mention. And let's not forget that I paid full price for this crossbow. This means that I've really paid the full $2,000. Uh, and once you get it here in, in Europe with all the 19% value added tax and the import tariffs and everything, it's about 2,500 euros. So it's a very expensive crossbow. But of course, it's really exclusive. Mine has a serial number 009. <laughs> they didn't give me 007 <laughs> for whatever reason. In, in any case, um, it also has a few more disadvantages. It's fairly heavy, not unusable, because, but it is a heavy crossbow. Um, I have to say that. Also, the shooting position is a little awkward. I mean, you would want a different, a longer distance towards the uh, telescopic sight. Uh, but I think that is owed to the fact that a lot of people would shoot downwards because they are sitting in a tree stand. So I think that is the reason why the distance is so close. It's a, it's a hunting uh, crossbow and therefore it does take a long time to cock it. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not too long, but it's still definitely a lot longer. So this is not a tactical crossbow like the Adder with the repeating magazine and everything. But this is a hunting crossbow made for hunting from a, from a tree stand. So uh, therefore, I wouldn't even say it's a disadvantage. That's just normal for the industry. All in all, I can really recommend it because it has the coolness factor. It's uber cool. That's what I think. Anyway. I hope you like this. I linked the uh, Landshead uh, website down there. So if you want to give them a visit, there's also more video material, everything about it. I recommend that you watch those because really it's fun. 
otherwise I hope you like this because that's it for today and thanks and bye bye <laughs> There's one thing I forgot to say <laughs> and that is why am I so interested in this technology? Well, that is very simple because I think that if I would just use two of these springs instead of like a total of, of uh, eight or something that they use, I think it would be possible to build an instant Legolas device that compact. Imagine that. That would be like a repeating bow uh, with the dimensions of a repeating shotgun, like a pump action shotgun. That would be truly amazing. Let's see if I can talk these people into uh, making this with me. Oh, Alfie, calm. Yeah, 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 fine. <laughs>